In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Windows 10 completely on a pen drive or a flash drive. First, you need to go to the official site of Rufus, that is rufus.ie, and then download the latest version of this software. You do not need to install anything since it can run directly after, uh, after downloading. So I'm going to run Rufus. Click on yes. Now insert the pen drive where you want to install uh, install the version of Windows. Now you need to download Windows 10. Okay, you can you need to download it earlier. So due to some reason I've seen that Windows 10 has increased abnormally in the file size. So I will try to provide you the May 2004 version of Windows 10 in the description if I am able to upload it is around 3 GBs and the Windows 10 that is available from the Microsoft site is around 6 GB if you are talking about the 64-bit uh, version of Windows 10. So select the correct USB drive now click on select from here I'm going to select Windows the ISO that, I, that you're going to download from the official side of Microsoft or you can use the one which I might provide I'm not sure if I'm able to upload then I will provide the uh, I'll provide the link to download my version of Windows which I'm using currently it is the May 2004 version of Windows from image option click on standard Windows in, uh, installation uh, select this and click on Windows to go now select the partition scheme to MBR if you're using BIOS or you can keep it to GPT if you're using UEFI system I'll keep it to MBR I'm not going to install it currently I'm just going to show you how you are going to do this now select uh, the file system is kept correct that is NTFS and click on start when you click on start you will get this several options that you need to you need to choose the correct version of windows now choose anyone which uh, you can you have the correct key for installing that is a product key which you have and click on ok uh, after you click on ok you will get a warning mes message that all data on the device will be destroyed so if you have any file that is important you need to take a backup and click on ok and then the process will continue and it will finally install now my suggestion is that do not install unless you need it very much do not install operating systems or uh, pen drives it is not a very good thing to do first of all the speed will be extremely slow as compared to one what we have in a normal standard SATA or an SSD SSD is extremely fast if you're talking about pen drive it will be uh, very slow to boot up you won't be having that uh, fast boot op option because you are going to uh, they will show that you have the fast boot but you will see that the booting time takes way much longer than normal uh, version of windows that you are using or running from your hard drive or the server um, now as you can see I have installed the windows 10 pro on this 32 GB pen drive now if you see the amount of space it is taking up in this okay let's go to this PC yeah and only around two only 2.66 GB is free out of 28.6 GB and that's a lot of space that Windows has just taken by itself I've installed very mm, just minimal softwares uh, for screen recording and the graphics adapters I showed in the last video I was using it on my old laptop I was running from this particular pen drive this one so basically after the updates you will see that the space is shrinking and uh, when I tried to upgrade to the Windows 10 uh, 20h2 version for, from this it showed that it required access of uh, and it required temporary storage of 11 GBs so if you're planning to upgrade to Windows 
10.20H2 or if you are planning to install the latest version of Windows 10, then you can't use it on a 32GB pen drive. You need to use a 64GB pen drive rather or a much higher storage. But my recommendation would be why would you go for installing that on a pen drive uh, unless uh, you're using your laptop and then suddenly something happens to your hard drive and then you can't use it. Then you might go for this option. Else, this is not at all recommend because the speed would be extremely slow and Windows 10 is a very, very heavy operating system. It is not light like that of uh, Linux or anything. Linux, if you go for Linux, you can go for Ubuntu or any other software. In such a case, what you need to do, I'm, okay, I will explain that also in this video. So uh, in that case, you need to you need to create a bootable device. For example, let me show you with Rufus. You first need to download Rufus, then open Ru start Rufus and select the correct device from here and select the disk image of Ubuntu or the Linux which you want to use and select it. Uh, select MBR or GPT as required and then uh, keep it to FAT32 or the, uh, keep it as default. Don't change this because changing this won't work because I tried it to change into NTFS and boot from there and the boot failed uh, last time when I tried with some Linux distro. I think it was reactors might be. After you start this, you click on OK and then and a window will open up where you will be able to see, uh, see two options. One would be an ISO, ISO format, another is the DD format. So you need to click on the ISO format and not the DD. So it will create a bootable version of uh, the Linux on the pen drive. Now the Linux would basically run as a live USB where you're going to do if whether you install an application or change the trick with the settings of Linux there nothing will be changed or reflected back to the original copy um, so what you need to do there is you need to um, insert another pen drive you need to insert another pen drive where you are going to install that version of Linux in that case the pen drive which you're inserting uh, be sure that you take backup from the pen drive because the, that is not going to have any more data uh, which any data that used to stay there before uh, was there before installing Linux so after the Linux is installed remember that you won't be able to open that pen drive from normal Windows Explorer you won't be able to do that because the format of that pen drive would be changed to uh, X4 file system. That is the file system used by Linux. And that is not recogni recognized by Windows. I don't know why they do this. Uh, but on the other hand, if you see, uh, Linux recognizes NTFS, whereas Windows is not doing this. They're very unfair. I don't like that's why Linux is much better. So, so, but now you get several third-party softwares for installing or, um, or sorry, for accessing uh, X4 file system on Windows, and they are not very nice. I think they're uh, a bit slower than your normal uh, file system that you use, and for extracting data, it's much slower than what it is normally. So that, that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching.